Lorenz Schoring. I'm working for a publishing company in Switzerland, Genossenschaft Eberlin. Um, we're the publisher of the Swiss weekly newspaper, Wochenzeit in Watt. Um, the company was founded in, in 1981. <laughs> I don't get the images. Doesn't change here. We are a co cooperative society. Um, that means the, the company is owned by its uh, workforce. Uh, you can find us on www.watts.ch. Um, actually, we are really, really old school printers. So, um, or um, our uh, workflow management system looks like this. So the columns are uh, actually the stages where the texts are currently. So there are seven stages, like when they go from uh, proofreading to layout. Um, the editor in charge just uh, writes a timestamp in one of the rows. That's how we are working now. Um, we also we're not that old school with layout, so it's not anymore uh, that we're using glue and scissors in order to make the layout. That was before, but we uh, just have a DTP, DTP um, software and everything is on the file server. So there's no workflow automation tool or something like that. Um, <clears throat> normally, since we are a uh, weekly newspaper, uh, we go in print Wednesday evening. Um, we have that deadline, which is looming always. <laughs> um, so then after that, the content is extracted and moved to the web page. So we have the same content on the web page like on print, um, except that it's a bit, little bit complicated, like with um, image licenses and stuff like that. So sometimes we have to change. Uh, images and uh, add some other stuff on the website. So that takes a, a little bit of time. Uh, the problem with that workflow is also that the person who uh, produces the website, if she or he runs into trouble, then most of the time uh, the print production people are already gone and he has to phone around and uh, try to fix things. So that's not really, really, really good, but at the moment it works for us. So our problem now is that um, we figured out that our readers um, have those things and they wanted to have an app. So um, we made one. Um, normally if you're um, producing uh, apps or so something, then uh, the normal path is to um, add an API to the website and just get the content from there. But I feared that this will have another problem or this will cause other problems with our workflows. So um, the other thing people do is uh, buy some really expensive uh, multi-channel publishing whatsoever workflow tools, uh, which is not what I wanted to do because that also would have meant that we um, have another lock-in into the proprietary software we're now using for DTP. So um, what I was now, uh, the work that I did in the last year was uh, create a software which allows us to um, assign the responsibility of creating the di digital edition to the uh, print production team. Um, in order to do that, it was crucial that um, the print production team has instant feedback. So it doesn't work if they need to push a button and then wait and then load some other software and then look at the results and then go back to their uh, DTP software and push the button again. Um, since yeah, it's always really stressful around 5 p.m. and people do last-minute changes and they just want 
uh, jet, they just need the system to work in an automated fashion. Um, so the architecture I came up with is, um, you see here, it is uh, actually just a passive um, uh, thing which observes the file system on the server. On, uh, we're using for production, we use Spotlight on a Mac. Um, it also works on with Identify and Linux. And it just watches a directory and, and um, records the changes and passes it to uh, the Spreadflow engine. Spreadflow is a data flow engine. It means it's like queue type data or like uh, the amazing pixel slide we seen yesterday. <laughs> Regrettably, I don't have such a beautiful interface for that. Um, in my case, it's just um, Python code, which is declaratively um, listing the steps of the of the workflow. Um, then, on the other side, um, the output is uh, 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 different files. MongoDB is for the Meteor frontend. I will show you afterwards. HTML file for the app, and then uh, for in order to to crop and um, convert images, I'm using Thumper um, with OpenCV uh, that has a feature detection algorithm, so it's possible to, to automatically, cut, automatically cut or crop images. Then uh, for the PDF view in the app, I need to reassemble PDF pages into double spreads, um, and there's also XML output which goes to a Swiss media database and also to the association of the uh, blind and uh, visually improved, uh, in, oh, impaired, impaired yeah, <laughs> visually impaired people. Thanks. So, you know, actually the, the thing I've um, come up with just glues together all those amazing open source uh, software which we already have, like Exit Tool, um, PDF RW, uh, RW for, uh, for PF manipulation, LXML for access filter processing, which is very important in order to extract the texts from uh, the print content. And yeah, thumb graph say. And also Pandoc and PDF, PDF to Cairo, which is amazing. I can show you an uh, example afterwards for PDF to Cairo. Uh, okay, so I'm trying to do a demo now. Um, how much time do I have? Okay. Seven minutes. <laughs> so this is what our editors or our production staff is working with. Oh, okay, thanks. Um, that's a view of the double spreads. So people like it to to uh, compare like what images they have on the left and the right side. This is extracted automatically from the InDesign files. Um, the um, pages are actually saved as um, JPEG in the metadata. Then. These are the stories with some metadata. I'm, it's also possible to add some warnings if people forget to do some things with them. And finally, the publishing process is, um, that's actually the HTML files produced by the data flow engine. Um, Actually, Adobe Illustrator file, 
which is automatically automatically cropped and um, rendered as an SVG, such that I can display it in a web browser. So um, Poplar and Cairo are really great for such things. So then I think I will go to the slides again. Yeah, okay. So um, all the components are on my GitHub re repository. Um, That's what is missing. <laughs> so um, I actually need, I really need um, more people who have use cases for such a thing. Because um, it's a bit difficult for me to come up with, with minimal examples uh, from such a complex workflow we have now for us. So if you have like a, a um, uh, a or a, a smaller paper or something, uh, a hobby project or something like that. I really um, would be eager to see some some um, examples and perhaps provide idea, ideas how to integrate with, with the system here. Um, I cannot simply um, just uh, uh, Publish all the, the the things we have now, since um, it's it would be huge and it wouldn't be a really good example of use. So uh, that's actually my question to you. If you have questions to me, you can ask now. <laughs> <laughs>